The way to access the HUD database, which is full of over 700,000 records of borrowers, borrowers owed money by the government, is by starting in the Search Hub, HUD tab. When you first log in, this is the screen that opens by default. The way you locate data is by putting in search criteria in these various fields. If you were to order a list from HUD, you would be specifying a state. For instance, if I was going to purchase North Carolina from HUD, they would send me the following data. I'm going to put in NC for North Carolina. Remember, you're always going to want to use your two-letter code. And then search. In a second or two, you'll see down here the results of that search. You just scroll down, and what you can see is that there's 12,174 records in North Carolina of borrowers owed a HUD refund. Now that's a lot of records, and obviously if you'd ordered that list directly from HUD, you would have uh, received a huge pile of printed paperwork. Here we make it a little easier because you can weed these down by quite a bit and make it easier to use. Now say I wanted to search for only those borrowers that are currently living or whose last address was in uh, Clyde, North Carolina. I'm just looking at some of the cities here. What's a city? Oh, how about Concord? That sounds like a familiar city. So I can narrow down this search by typing in Concord and leaving the state as North Carolina and resubmitting my search. This time that narrows it down to 249 records. That's a much more uh, useful amount of data. Now I can go through and decide what I want to select. By clicking this topmost box, that will select everything on this page. And you can only view 25 records on each page. But what if I don't want all those records? I can unselect it and just click through and select the records I want. Say I only want records over $1,000. I can click here. This refund's worth $1,114. I can scroll down further. Oh, here's a big refund for $2,995. So I can pick and choose the records I want. Now, another way to narrow down results is to uh, limit it by refund amount. So let's click Reset and start with new data up here. I recommend putting in a state or zip or even a city when you're, when you're looking for um, results by refund amount. Let's, let's again put North Carolina in and let's specify that we want refund amounts that are greater than $1,000. I put that into the uh, field box up here. Click on search. Looks like there are 839 records in North Carolina that have um, refunds due for more than a thousand dollars and here you can see them listed here just briefly as you can see the name of the mortgager or the borrower is in the first column with the case number right below that case number is the way to track your individual clients all the way through the process the mortgager address is the last known address that this individual was uh, living at now this is the address that HUD has mailed to in the past so the odds of you finding the customer at this address are not great. It still happens, but it's not great because HUD has been trying to mail them there. The property address of the house they sold is here under the property address line. And the servicing mortgagee, this isn't very important, but this is the code of the bank that offered the loan for this uh, particular borrower. Over here you can see the date the mortgage was paid off and the refund amount. Now the, the one thing I recommend to a lot of people getting started is to search for people in a zip code near you. Why would I suggest this? Well because you're having to locate people it can be much easier to locate people whose last known address was near you. Because perhaps they, if they've moved, they've moved nearby, and perhaps you'll be able to find them in something as basic as your local white pages. So that's, that's just a s suggestion I make. Uh, here in the zip code 98008, there are 48 records of people owed refunds, and several of them are fairly large. And I might find that if I pull out my white pages, I can start to locate some of these people. Now, as you can see up here in the search criteria, there's a lot of different ways you can find someone. Only rarely will you really need to find someone by case number, but it could happen, or by first or last name, 
But again, it could happen. If you happen to meet someone who says, oh, I might have a refund due. Do you want to help me out? Which could happen when people start to know that you process refunds. This would be the way to look them up and find out if they do have a refund due them. For the most part, though, you're going to find that you use the address information fields and the refund information field the most in searching for HUD data to use.